Hey Leo, let's see what's going on in your love life right now. This is a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as any of you dealing with a Leo romantically. It's a timeless reading today. Whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages, but I always remind you it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, and you are more than welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Let's see what's going on for Leo in love. <laughs> First card out is the unknown card. So for context here, Leo, I use a tarot deck called the Crystal Visions Tarot. It is a normal tarot deck, but it does have one extra bonus card called the unknown. So that is coming out as the first card for you today within your reading. What does this tell me right away? There is stuff going on in your love life right now where you don't have all the information, you might not see the full picture. Somebody could be planning something for you that you're not aware of, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you might not even know about right now, but I feel like it's going to be revealed. Now, this could be positive, it could be negative, it could be neutral, so we're really gonna have to pull some more cards to see what is going on right now that you're not currently aware of. Tell me more for Leo, please. Let's get to the bottom of this. The next card out is the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. It's definitely an energy of deep thinking and introspection. It kind of feels to me with the unknown card and the Hermit Leo that maybe you're feeling a little bit uncertain about some sort of choice or decision that you need to make in your love life right now. You might be feeling like you're lacking a sense of direction. And for those of you in a relationship, it could even be that you feel perhaps that your relationship has a lot of unknowns that are in the picture right now. It is possible that some of you might be wondering, how does my person feel? What do they want? What's going on in the connection? What does the future hold for the two of us? So I see that there's a lot of deep thinking here and wondering what is the next step? Now, for those of you who are single, you might be feeling like there's a lot of uncertainty about the future. When am I gonna meet somebody? When is it gonna happen? When are things gonna play out for me in the way that I want? So I see you here really contemplating what your next step is when it comes to love. But I definitely get the sense for those of you who are currently involved with somebody, whether you're dating, whether it's a situationship, whether it's somebody who you're in a longer term connection with, it does feel like there is some uncertainty surrounding that connection right now. Tell me more for Leo. <laughs> and then we've got the sun card. Okay, so we go from the hermit to the sun. This is your energy, by the way, Leo. So it feels like after a period of introspection, after a period of taking some time for yourself, it does look like there are blessings that are coming into your love life. Okay, let's keep going. Tell me more. The five of pentacles but the blessings are short-lived. This is a card of feeling disconnected, feeling left out in the cold. What I'm honestly feeling here, Leo, is a relationship that has high highs and low lows. You can see the extreme difference between these two cards. You can see that in the sun, this is arguably the happiest card within the tarot, but then within the five of pentacles, it's a card of like feeling abandoned, feeling like somebody has not chosen you. And I feel like what this represents is the fact that if you're resonating with this reading today, Leo, you could be dealing with a relationship where there's really, really good moments. And when it's good, it's good. But when it's bad, it's so bad. And this is probably why you're feeling really uncertain about the connection because you have these wonderful times together. But I also think that you have these moments where it's so tough that you really consider walking away from the connection and you're trying to figure out what do I do? Do I stay? Do I try to figure it out? Do I try to work on this? Or is it too much conflict? Is it too much challenge? And would it be better to just walk away? So I think you're very conflicted because you're like, on the one hand, I obviously have these strong feelings for this person, but on the other hand, we got a lot of problems and issues that are definitely impacting the relationship. Tell me more, please, about this situation for Leo. Tell me more. The Ten of Cups. It's hard to walk away when you see a future with somebody. Some of you might have kids with this person, or it could be that you look at this person and you're like, they're my happily ever after. There's somebody who I want to marry. There's somebody who I want to have kids with. And so I feel like when you look at the connection between the two of you, 
you've already started to build up this future in your mind. But what happens is when we've built up this future and then cracks start to show in the foundation of our relationship, it can be really disheartening. And it can be really tough because you're looking at somebody who you once thought was the person who you wanted to marry, but then you're realizing there's also a massive disconnect and there's these massive issues that are showing up in your relationship. And it's just leaving this big question mark about what the future holds between the two of you. Like I'm literally seeing a question mark in my mind right now about your relationship. And I think this represents the uncertainty that you're feeling. Tell me more, please, for Leo. Let's see. And then we've got the Four of Wands. Wow. I mean, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands here, both of these are cards about building a future together, building a life together, building a family together. And so there is a serious commitment between the two of you. I wonder what has led to this emotional disconnect. I wonder why this Five of Pentacles is here. Tell me more, please, for Leo. Five of Swords, another challenging energy. Yeah. The two of you... You might be having fights about the future. This could be what's leading to some of the problems that are showing up here. It could be that things were once very happy, things were going well, and then as the relationship progressed, there started to be a disconnect. The two of you have started to fight with each other. You're pushing each other's buttons. There's negativity. You're battling with each other. I think it relates to the future of your relationship. I do wonder if some of you have maybe been putting more pressure on your person and being like, look, like what is the future of our relationship? What are we building together? Where is this going? And maybe the fact that you've been putting a bit more pressure on your person to be clear about their intentions, this could be leading to problems. And it's interesting here because I'm looking at the 10 of cups and the four of wands. And the message that I'm honestly getting, Leo, is that somebody went all in on the other person, but maybe that person was not as invested as they were. So maybe you in your mind looked at this person, and you're like, I'm going to marry them, I'm going to have kids with them, I'm going to build a life with them. But maybe they did not reciprocate the intensity of those feelings. And so what happened is that you've maybe been putting some pressure. It's not really pressure, like I think it's normal and natural in a relationship, obviously, to ask about the future. But I feel like when you started to have these conversations, your person would fight with you, there would be conflict, there would be power struggles, and it just doesn't feel like there's any sort of resolution. And I feel like this has been going on for a little bit, but you're also still experiencing this energy right now. Like I'm looking at the five and I'm like, maybe this has been going on for like five months because <laughs> we do have two fives within your reading. This is my little kitty cat, Fiona, coming to say hello. She's like, I'm here to comfort you, Leo. Hi, baby. Hey, yo. So this is Fiona. Okay, let's keep going, please, for Leo. Let's keep going. Queen of Cups, but again, another card to indicate that there is this emotional connection here between the two of you. It's hard to walk away, Leo, when there is this kind of love. And part of me is wondering why there is this sense of disconnect between the two of you, because there is obviously love here, but I almost wonder if there's a little bit of a fear of commitment, especially with that Five of Pentacles coming from either you or your person, because the Five of Pentacles can represent our fears of abandonment. And sometimes what happens is when we fear something so intensely, sometimes we actually create that reality. So what do I mean by that? Maybe you're dealing with somebody who does love you very much, <laughs> like Fiona. Uh, maybe you're dealing with somebody who does love you very much, but maybe they've got an abandonment wound. And then what happens is as you try to have conversations about the future and you try to take things deeper between the two of you, they might pick conflict, like pick fights with you. They might battle with you with that five of swords because they're now unconsciously trying to like... <laughs> push you away and basically manifesting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Fiona. Come on, baby. <laughs> They're basically manifesting a reality here where they could end up being abandoned. And so this is the thing. It's like what we believe we create for ourselves. And even though I think that this person has a lot of love for you, there's something here that's causing them to push you away. And it might not even be conscious. It might not even be an intentional thing that's happening, but it's creating this huge disconnect and this huge rift within your relationship. Tell me more, please. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, but there is some sort of energy here related to a new beginning, a fresh start. Let's see where this goes. What comes next for Leo? And then the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is shifting. The wheel is turning. 
these are some pretty positive energies, you guys. I'm kind of hoping that this indicates that if you've been going through a period of uncertainty and stress and conflict with your person, there could potentially be a shift in the energy that's happening right now. And so maybe there's a realization happening for your person that they need to step it up and they need to start committing. Let's see what else we've got here. The nine of wands, the two of you are definitely being tested, but I also feel like there's a sense of not wanting to give up on each other. And that's the thing, like maybe you're approaching this situation right now, Leo, and you're like, look, I know there's something here. I know there's love. I know there's a connection. There's definitely conflict and there's challenge, but there's also the potential here for a lot of really good things to happen. And so you might be looking at it and being like, it's really tough right now, but I'm not ready to give up because I see the potential here. And so I see you wanting to fight for this connection, but I also see that it's challenging because your person is not necessarily making it easy for you here, Leo, tell me more, please. And then we've got the 10 of swords, yeah. I mean, there could have even been some sort of betrayal that happened. I'm gonna be honest with you, Leo, when I pulled this card, what immediately came into my mind is that this is a betrayal from the past. And I think this fits really well with what I was saying to you about how your person might have a fear of abandonment. I think your person has massive trust issues related to something that happened in the past where somebody broke their trust. And now what's happening is that the happier that your relationship becomes, the more that you have these conversations about the future, it's like they're starting to freak out and they're wondering, can I trust this? Can I believe it? Is it all gonna fall apart? And I feel like your person is almost just like becoming their own worst enemy. I don't think it's that they don't love you here, Leo, but I think that they've got some personal stuff that they need to work through. Now, again, the energy can be interchangeable. Maybe this is you, Leo. Maybe you feel, as you're watching this video, that you've been pushing your person away. Maybe you're scared. Maybe you've got some trust issues because you've been badly burned in the past and you're bringing it into your current relationship and it's impacting how the two of you move forward. If that's the case, that's an invitation there to have some self-awareness about the ways that we can sometimes push people away unknowingly because of the pain that we have in the past. And so if you feel like this is something you're resonating with and it's a general reading, take it or leave it, Leo. But if this is something that you're resonating with, I feel there's some healing that needs to happen some self-work that either you or your person need to do because it's like one of you is getting triggered in this relationship as things get more serious and it's like pushing the other person away even though there's a lot of happiness and love between the two of you. So moment of truth, what is the potential outcome in this situation? Four of Pentacles, you don't wanna lose each other. I think that's been pretty clear within your reading. The two of you have not wanted to let each other go but I also feel ironically with the Four of Pentacles, the two of you, <laughs> the two of you don't want to let each other go, but there might be something that needs to be let go of in order for the two of you to connect and be together. So what that means is, do you have emotional baggage? Do they have emotional baggage? Is there something from the past that needs to be released so that the two of you can show up fully within this connection between the two of you? Let's pull another card for the potential outcome. Three of Cups. I think you're getting advice from your friends and family about this situation. That's actually a really good thing, Leo, because in the moments where your person pulls back and there's a disconnect between the two of you, I do see that you have a strong social support network here that you can lean on. What else? Ace of Swords. I think this is gonna work out. What is the Ace of Swords? The Ace of Swords is a moment of truth, a moment of clarity. I feel like what's gonna happen is that there's gonna be some total open and honest communication between you and your person that leads to a breakthrough moment within the relationship. So what it could be is that after struggling for a little bit, after feeling like the two of you have been disconnected, after feeling like your person's been pulling away and not committing to the relationship, what some of you could be realizing is that this is an opportunity to have a very open and honest conversation. So even though it's been challenging, Fiona, <laughs> my cat's being such a little bugger, um, even though it's been challenging, I do see that there is the potential here for a breakthrough moment to happen within the connection between the two of you. But how are you gonna get here, Leo? 
This is about communication. You guys are gonna have to open up and be very open and honest and transparent about what you're feeling, Fiona, come on, and what you're going through. And that's what's ultimately gonna allow things to progress between the two of you. So if you're looking for a way out of this situation, I really feel like communication is the magic solution here. <laughs> And the magic answer, sorry guys, my cat is being so naughty, I gotta go in a moment. Um, but yeah, I do think things are gonna work out and I feel like around the time that you're watching this, if you're connecting with this reading, there is gonna be some sort of breakthrough moment that really helps the two of you move forward and get some clarity. And I think it's gonna be one of you owning up and being like, look, I've been pulling back, I've been disconnecting, it's been because I've been scared, because I've been hurt in the past, but here's how I'm gonna work on it moving forward so that we can progress our relationship, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there for you, Leo, because I've got a very naughty little kitty cat here who I need to go play with. Um, but if you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated, please do give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, you can do so through Etsy. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below this video. And um, I don't do video readings on Etsy, but I do written readings. So feel free to check it out. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye guys.